What happens when people are taken from their moorings and transplanted into another cultural milieu of, of all kinds of things that are foreign to them, language, religion, um, morals, all of the things that happened to Africans as they were transported in the transatlantic slave trade. The American slave system dismantled so much of the family structure as one would know it. And the painting talks about the woman debased and raped and disrespected in so many ways that it dismantled black people's feeling about unity for themselves, it brought about a whole period of self-hatred and self-denial. The chains are not there, but the hardware, the hardware is still present, you see, and, and the hardware is about that residual influence, so deeply embedded that the, the, the chain that was once attached to this and to the feet. There are other chains, there are industrial chains, there are corporate chains. Wherever we go until we break that chain and we break that connection to the, to the perpetrator of our pain, then we will always be enslaved. We will always be chained to some idea that does not represent total freedom for us as people. Some of these are main characters, some of these people are supporting characters, and some of them are witnesses. There are so many witnesses, witnesses in the background of things. There, there's always somebody watching. This is a collaboration between the two artists. Walter Edmonds painted half of it, I painted the other part. We didn't have a prescribed sketch, so Walter came in and painted what he felt like doing and left it, left the rest of it. And, um, I sort of merged my style into his. Walter's palette is different. The choice of colors of are reds and oranges and yellows and vibrant, striking impasto. He puts his colors down with a, what's called a palette knife, like a small cement trial. And it's metal. And when you put the paint down, it stays there. He doesn't manipulate it as much with the brush as I did with my own. I use brushes, as you can see, that's to soften edges and to get that flowing atmospheric content. And what Walter does is he sort of like torpedoes the color right into the canvas, right into the surface, so that when it comes back at you, it comes back with a different kind of intensity. It comes back with a forcefulness that it causes you to want to even look at the texture of the work. 